What's going on guys? Big BB back with another Game Piece Arcades video. On this one today, we are unboxing another Jersey Jack Pinball Machine Toy Story 4 Limited Edition. And yes, your eyes don't deceive you. I have two pinball machines now. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright guys, you know, Joe, if you're not following me on all those socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would just be seeing everything, uh, just my life, building arcades, enjoying arcades, enjoying now real pinball machines. Yes, I do build virtual pinball machines. I still do. I still have mine. I love mine. But now going into the realm of a real pinball machine, it's, uh, it's a different feeling. Not to mention I did kind of go crazy uh, for my 33rd birthday. So yes, the first gift to myself was the Godfather Collector's Edition. That was the main one I wanted. This one though, I did grab for the kiddo and the wife. I gotta kinda say that. <laughs> I did also grab it for myself, obviously. But uh, yes, I do have now two Jersey Jack pinball machines, real pinball machines. Uh, I have a lot to discuss when it comes to this, uh, just pinball in general. Um, again, like I said, I do have my virtual pinball machine. Yes, now I have two real pinball machines. Like I said in future videos, I just want to talk about like, you know, why I bought these machines here, these specifically versus like a virtual pin. Uh, there's just so much to discuss. But again, on this one today, yes, we are going to be doing a second unboxing of Jersey Jack pinball. Again, I do have a Toy Story 4 limited edition. Now the first Godfather unboxing, I wanted to kind of do it as like a tutorial, but like the situation when like you're bringing it down and then I got my brother-in-law, same thing's gonna kind of happen here. You're not gonna really see the full length unboxing. There is somebody on, uh, he's a Twitch streamer, he's also like, I think he's like, I, I believe it's Buffalo Pinball. Uh, he unboxes a toy store, but he did it as a live stream. So it's kind of a long video. I really wanted to do it like a tutorial style, but same thing's gonna happen with this situation. Um, from my experience with the Godfather pinball machine, I hired a moving company to help me with this one. Um, the Godfather was sketchy, but I'll be honest, now that I have this in my hands, this machine is way lighter than the Godfather. Um, but I'm still gonna get a mover to help me out. I'll never forget my little journey with the Godfather. And again, I have my hand truck still handy, but like I said in the video, I thought it was gonna tip over. It's only gonna go down four steps. I'd rather just be safe get two bigger guys than me to move this. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna see the full unboxing because I only have them for a certain amount of time. Basically, you're gonna see like the next step is gonna be downstairs with the legs on. That's really all that kind of starts out with an unboxing with this. Uh, you know, you move the box, you remove the plastic, um, you bolt your legs on and then it stands and then it's more about cutting the strap and then lifting the back box. That I could do on my own. The hard thing right now is just getting it down the stairs and yes, just like what I did with the Godfather, I left it in the box. And learning from the Godfather, I now understand that this cabinet, the whole thing, should be removable from the pallet itself, unlike me thinking that it was bolted to it. So, like I said, hope you enjoy the journey on unboxing this. And again, I have a whole story and all that. I'll give you little snippets, but expect a lot of pinball videos, just kind of explaining my journey and all that. So, without further ado, Let's get this thing downstairs to the basement. Well, fast forward to the next day. I didn't really record the whole unboxing thing. This one I was kind of happy because I did it alone. Um, movers came in, helped me bring it down the stairs. It took about total, I would say 30 to 45 minutes. Probably the only time consuming thing was basically setting up the legs. You know, you got to get the leg, you get the leg leveler, and then you got to put the nut at the bottom and you got to put it up. That probably took the most time out of it. So with the moving company, they helped bring it down the stairs. They bought three guys. Um, my staircase though was kind of narrow, so you could really only put two guys. Um, two guys were down at the bottom and then it was me and the other guy. I was basically just watching and monitoring. Uh, we had to take it out of the box. Um, I wanted to keep it in the box really to protect the sides because my staircase, it just barely fits. Probably about an inch of a, you know clearance. Um, Cause my big thing is that I didn't want the artwork to get scratched and luckily they did great. We have no issues, no complaints. Uh, once I got it down here, basically we put it back up how it came in shipment, so it was on its back. Um, I put the legs on and while I was putting the legs on, I told them, hey, 
I removed my two doors so instead of wasting time just go if you can put my doors back and they did that while I was putting on the front legs sure enough they finished putting on the doors I dropped the cabinet down I had two guys hold the cabinet up to put the rear legs on and that was it I told them I was like this is probably the easiest job ever it was very funny they walked in and they're like you needed help moving it down here and I was like this is heavy this is this is a heavy thing the godfather cabinet was heavy that that is a tank this one I'll probably be honest it was a little like a tad bit lighter um, basically when it came to like the hand truck for the godfather I needed somebody to help you know give it to me like force it to me so I could tilt back this one I basically just did one heave and it, it went with me so um, all in all amazing I can't the biggest thing and again I'm gonna make a separate video on why I have these two cabinets and why I bought this the biggest thing the biggest satisfaction was the kiddo was playing it and the wife was playing it and uh, last night we were no joke we probably played a good like I would say 30 games on this because you know the kiddo you'll see it if you follow me on Instagram she basically just flipping uh, I bought this for her um, and the wife but the best thing honestly the most satisfying thing um, we were, you know, we said like, okay, last game and mom was playing and, uh, as we get closer, that was the biggest thing with this game is that like, you know, it's very approachable. Again, I'm going to talk about this in a separate video, but anybody could come up here and just start flipping. Whereas this, it's very detailed. Like I tried to explain to people the game plan on this and it's like, nope. So the wife sure enough, like, you know, after like two or three games of just flipping, um, I'm here and I'm coaching and I'm like, oh, try to get the skill shot. And then, you know, when you hear the call, it's like hit the right ramp, you know, for somebody that doesn't know pinball, it's just like, okay, I'm just going to flip. But it was very satisfying when all of a sudden we were going to go to bed and she was like, let me, let me just get one more game in. I switched to this Duke Kaboom ramp. I told her about it. And then sure enough, she's like, I want to hit it now. That was probably the most satisfying part of the whole night. Watching the kiddo play and then watching the wife literally turn to me and go, let me just, let me do one more game. I got to try to get this Duke Kaboom shot. <laughs> that was the, honestly, the main goal. And uh, I accomplished it. Now, in all honesty, as far as this machine here, I have no mods in mind. Like I said, the Godfather, I have to do the gunners. I definitely want to do that. Toy Story, though, honestly, it's, it's nice. People add, like, extra toys into the play field. I, I'm not into that. Probably the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is no LEDs uh, in the back box and under the cabinet. Uh, a game like this, it's like gorgeous. You know, it's just, it's a carnival theme and kids get attracted and I like the LEDs. Watching like the light show on the Godfather, especially like the video I'll be posting or I posted before that I have the Godfather background, just watching the light show is like, whoa. Um, that's probably the only thing, but if I'm gonna modify this, I'm gonna see um, basically, I, like I love the attract modes. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> uh, basically, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to learn from the Godfather. I'm going to see how the, um, you know, the underglow is connected. Uh, and I'm going to try to see it from here. My understanding is that maybe it's like a board. Uh, I get it that I understand there's a lot of like, in this build, there's a lot of Cat5 connections. So it's like Ethernet. Luckily, I have my experience with Cat5. I'm just hoping that it's a board with open ports and I just have to plug in. Worst, worst, worst case scenario, and who knows, maybe I'll make a kit for it. I would probably tap in to these LEDs here and then basically it would just mimic it. Um, again, if you know LEDs, you might be saying like, Vic, you can't do it that way. I know how LEDs work, especially addressable. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure it out. Worst case scenario, I'll probably grab like the um, addressable LEDs I have for my House of Rock that just kind of has like an animation. I'm not into like crazy stuff, but the biggest coolest thing is to, I like it when it reacts with the game and that's what the Godfather does. The Godfather cabinet reacts with the lighting. One last probably modification I will be doing is the LEDs inside of the back glass here. I am mind blown at how much people are selling an LED kit for this. I mean, kudos to you if you're making it, but damn. Somebody's selling a kit for like, I think it was like 125 bucks. And I'm like, what? 
Go on Amazon and get just cool white LEDs. That's what I plan to do. Really what I plan to do here, there's an LED strip already here. Not to mention if you know wiring and all that, there's a couple of five volt and 12 volt connectors. I'm just gonna tap into that. In reality, probably up here, I'm gonna probably solder and then add extra lights. But people are spending that much money on an LED kit, that is ridiculous. That is just taking advantage and that's sad. You can knock that out in like 20 bucks. Not to mention again, same thing if I wanted to do the, uh, the, you know, the underbody stuff. No joke, you're talking like uh, 30 bucks. <laughs> like, damn. That's also why I'm a little upset with JJP. I wish they just included the underbody glow. I mean, let's be real, it's, it's LEDs. You know, it doesn't really cost you that much. But uh, hey, it's not my company. While I mentioned about the back glass, the only thing unique about this back glass is that there is a light here for Forky. Um, depending on where you are in the game, that light lights up. It's actually a very cool LED. It's a square LED with like 12 little tiny pucks. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing really much to it. I love the blue armor on this. That's why I didn't get the collector's edition. The red, I wasn't a fan of. I didn't like the red. Um, this is awesome. Not to mention the topper for Toy Story. It's not that attractive. I don't, I don't like it. I feel like it's very meh. It's nothing compared to the Godfather. Uh, as far as like, honestly, build quality and stuff, I feel like they're almost identical. This, yes, is a year before the Godfather, but I feel like that, like just everything, as far as like clean wiring, it is clean wiring. I don't want to sound like that, but like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like that, the newer style is just, um, it's not that it's built better, it's just, it's built different. Um, again, amazing. It's a great game. Uh, this game right here, again, it gets so much flack on pin side and people are like, oh, it's too easy. I mean, we're playing it and, I, you know, the biggest thing is like these complete scenes to play. And this is where, like for me, again, I'm not a pro pinball player. I would love to be a pro pinball player, but this is where like, I don't see myself getting rid of this <laughs> anytime soon because even, I feel like even if I beat the game, which I, that's gonna take a, quite a while, I would still wanna probably do it maybe three or four times. I, right now, it's just as far as Toy Story with the one day I had it, I haven't completed any scenes. And I got lucky and excited. There's a mode here where like you collect characters. I got excited when I got like two of them. And then that was it, ball drain, game over. I'm like, ah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Also a big eye-catching thing, I kinda have it now on the screen, you can see that there. The cameras, the the fact that these games take pictures, my family is like, what? Like everybody's going crazy with it. It's a cool feature, not to mention like the Godfather is very well done with all that, that whole board of like people. Um, this one, Toy Story, I haven't really looked at the at track mode too much, but basically like you can see like the grand champion, you get like the photo booth. My kid loves it. Uh, I'll be playing and then instead of me taking the picture, I'll have her take the picture. Also, if you look very carefully, you can't see it now, but especially on The Godfather, uh, JJP has this thing where when you enter your name, if you leave it blank, it actually puts like a movie character name. That's why you could see on The Godfather, it says like, I'm the Turk or Vito. Um, this one here, I think like, my I put my kiddo's name on this, but like Bo Peep, uh, Ham. See, like she has Ham on this. I've been purposely doing that. When I play it, I just press end. Um, this way, in reality, I'm gonna get a high score, and then it'll be like a game char movie character, and then I'll just try to really, if I have a really, really good game, then I'll put my name on it. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Also, another crazy feature with this is the iPad. That is a big eye-catching thing. Again, I feel like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, there's so much hate, and I don't understand why. People make fun of this, oh, I'm gonna put an iPad. Um, it's cool, it's interactive. Not to mention like tiki mode. Um, you know, you actually play virtual pinball. Uh, and it's crazy, so in all honesty, this past week with the kiddo and the wife, we sat down and watched Toy Story 1 to 4. The day before this got here, we did watch Toy Story 4, and I'm glad I watched it because now it's like, you know, I understand everything. I understand how it is, It's and not to mention honestly, the next day after I got this, I watched Godfather 1. So yes, I fully watched Godfather 1. And last night, I watched Godfather 2. Noticing about Godfather 1, uh, there's a person, there's a, there's, a, there's a mode called Hung Jury, and I'm like, Godfather 1 didn't have anything, 
and all the call outs I didn't see that so I discovered that it's in Godfather 2 so yes I can officially say I'm Italian and I finally watched the Godfather full length I mean you're talking about the full like three hours uh, again watching Toy Story 4 it's cool because when you get this whole buzz thing, you know, it's talking about this inner voice and that's what like part of the movie was about with Toy Story 4. I, I love it. I, I think it's great. Again, the wife loves it. The kiddo, that's the best part is the kiddo loves it. Um, it's cool. Inside the coin box, they gave you extra little toys. Um, again, yes, it is the Amazon collector toy thing. But now this is kind of cool. You kind of, I could probably figure out a way to mount them. They're not supposed to be mounted, but why not try it? It's already in there. There's a Gabby Gabby. There's a Duke Kaboom. I kind of wish, honestly, the Duke Kaboom um, thing was there. But I could probably put it up here. There's so many ways you could do it. But that's what's so cool with pinball. Like this right here, as long as you're not, as long as you're clearing the glass, why not? Have fun with it. Now, as far as you can see here, this is why I really I set you up there, is the topper situation here. Uh, again, I'm at 82 inches. The Godfather, you can see the dimensions I put. This, I believe, right now is at 76. So... Even now, like for me, I was honestly gonna look at maybe getting like a Buzz Lightyear, uh, a Woody doll, and I love RC. I love the RC. Sorry, I had to answer the phone. But like I said, I do like the RC car in Toy Story. Now, yes, I don't believe the RC car is, it, it really wasn't even shown in Toy Story 4 except for the first scene. I just like that car. Growing up, that was like the main thing. So I might just get the car um nothing crazy somebody on pin side actually has a very cool topper with the dolls where they actually have like it's woody hanging off the side and buzz is holding his hand like trying to grab him so that's kind of cool um but again that's kind of just being creative that's that's awesome you're gonna see now in future videos um for this i'm gonna be doing a couple of things like i've already done for the godfather i actually have a permanent hdmi thing that I made for streaming. Uh, again, what's great with these back glasses, the back boxes, they are HDMI, so you could basically stream it with an Elgato. I have basically a permanent solution with Godfather um, where I basically took the HDMI and then rerouted it to the rear and have a coupler. So when I'm ready to stream, I just remove the coupler, put my Elgato, call it a day. When I do finish streaming and I just wanna play regularly, I just reconnect the coupler. Um, watching people stream this, they take the actual like glass off. The Godfather, the LEDs on that are just bright. You could even see it in the video, it's just like whoosh. So I can't figure out how you're playing with that unless you're disconnecting the LEDs. Uh, but it's pretty cool, I could see this. Um, and again, the video uh, basically will give an easy solution. Yes, you'll have to open up the back glass. Yes, you'll have to cut a couple of zip ties. Uh, but other than that, it's very simple. Again, it's just something where I don't want to keep opening the back glass for me to stream. Uh, what's really cool with this, for example, the top is just like the Godfather. There's, in the center is a hole. That's where I snake the HDMI. Um, you know, I didn't want to really make a solution where I have to drill into the cabinet or make a hole through the cabinet, but it's pretty cool. So now if you look carefully, I do have one LE from JJP and I have one CE from JJP. Again, the CE, the collector's edition of Toy Story, it doesn't have that many add-ons like it does for the Godfather. The Godfather, I feel like they did everything, especially with the, the gold accented uh, rails and the, not the, the armor rails, but inside the wire, I should say, the wire forms. The side art, the gold flake, there's so much going on in the CE here versus here i think the only thing i'm missing from toy stories collector's edition that i i'm kind of like mm, i feel bad but not really is apparently that there's bo peep call outs uh i don't know if that's a big deal breaker but other than that nothing else really attracts me i've seen side art for the um you know for toy story and some of it is just too chaotic it kind of hurts the eyes uh so i don't i don't mind that and again like i said the topper for the Toy Story CE, I don't like it. I think it's just kind of like meh. It's just basically LEDs. And then you got Duke Capoon that just kind of, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, but I'm happy with my purchase. Like I said, the only thing probably I'm upset with that I don't have in this, as far as LE to CE, is definitely the underglow and the probably the bow peep callouts. 
Well guys, there you have it, an unboxing of Toy Story 4, which is really not even recorded or really unboxed. Uh, basically just, I have my Toy Story 4 now. I have now my two main pinball machines. Like I said, stay tuned for future videos. I'm gonna talk about the Godfather, I'm gonna talk about my journey, why I got the Godfather, and then I will tell you also more in detail on why exactly I got Toy Story 4, which I kind of hinted here but it kind of collaborates with the Godfather uh, story I have. But other than that, that is it. My two real pinball machines. No, I have no plans right now. I have no plans as of now, September, what is it, six? Um, I have no plans of getting any more pinball machines. Um, like I said in future videos, you'll see theming is a big deal. This right now, these two are probably the only themes that I I would like and enjoy. Um, right now with Stern, like Venom, I have like my comic book stuff there. So I'm not, I'm not a comic guy, so I wouldn't be getting Venom. But yes, stay tuned for more videos. You'll see more modding videos I plan to do, uh, mostly towards The Godfather. Right now, literally I'm gonna shoot the Gunners. Uh, gonna prepare for that today because I can't wait to get that up. Big VP, Game Pays Arcades. Woo!